Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this presentation on rules file examples for event loads. In this presentation, we will discuss the various ways to monitor event loads using the probe rules file. Event rate logging can be performed in a number of ways. Specific event rates can also be logged, for example, for each node. Other related features, such as altering rules file states and event discard and recover, are also discussed. The event flood extension is a solution provided as part of the Netcore Omnibus installation. It uses two rules files and a set of tables and triggers that are added to the object server the probes connect to. Refer to the manual on how to configure this method of event flood management. The probes support OPL stats features. These are used by the return on investment extension package, but can be used separately. The event statistics are gathered and calculated when a probe watch heartbeat event is created. The rules file code uses the OPL stats tokens to create useful statistics on event processing. For example, the average time taken to process events. The calculated information is logged to the probe's log file as informational details with the PSHBR prefix to allow the details to be grepped from the log file easily. For the OPL stats to be used, the probe's property probe watch heartbeat interval needs to be set to a value in seconds for which the OPL stats need to be logged to the probe's log file. The rules file logic shown was taken from the ROI extension package's rules. The log messages provide a simple report regarding the probe's statistics per heartbeat interval. Key information is the average events per second and average rules file processing time, which are useful in determining the event load and rules file efficiency. The load rules uses the maths functions available in the probe rules to manually calculate the event rate per period based on data stored in static variables. Unlike OPL stats rules, the logging of events per second happens when events are being created rather than periodically. Additional information can be logged, such as the number of events and elapsed time if required. The event load profiling property is available on some probes and needs to be checked for availability using minus dump props. The event profiling needs to be set to true and enabled using the event load profiling rules. The event load profiling rules allows the profiling tokens to be accessed and logged to the probe's log file using message level informational. Unlike the other event rates, the event load processing is the event load before any rules file processing. This is useful when the probe displays unexpected loading or memory issue and will highlight any event processing backlogs. The EPS value is calculated like the load rules event rate and is based on pre-processed events, not rules file processed events, so their values will not be equal. The rules file logic used in the load rules can be used to calculate the event load per object, such as nodes. This is achieved by storing the event counts per object in an array and then calculating the events per second deriving from the object. In this example, the events per node are calculated using the stored event counter for the node and the time of when the count started. This type of EPS measuring is useful in an environment where nodes can create event storms that would be discarded at the rules file level. Static variables can be used to set the rules file state. In this example, the value of the calculated load is used to switch between different types of probe rules file logic, depending upon the amount of events being processed. In order to discard events efficiently, the discard logic must prevent further rules file processing after the event is discarded, given any additional processing post-discard is also discarded. Recovering events is best performed at the end of the rules file if it is thought that missing events are due to some unexpected discard. Once it is confirmed the missing event was discarded, further rules file investigation should be performed where the event was incorrectly discarded. For example, logging out each discarded event's details. 
Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.